What's up internet, Senior Whoopi here, and welcome to another special Days Off video. Today I'm going to be playing Magic, because that's what I feel like playing today. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and sign in here, start it up, and hopefully look for an online game, because those are more fun to play. Pressing the wrong button? Okay. So you can press start from here, and whenever you've beaten the game, um, it'll show you online duel. You'll be like, online duel, let's go. Yeah. If you haven't beat the game, though, it'll just show you what's next to defeat in the AI, which unlocks cards for you, so it's very important to go and do that if you know anything about magic. If not, there's lots of helpful videos out there online, and if you have a friend that's willing to teach you, then it's worth it. It's a fun game. <clears throat> I've been playing a lot of it lately. I've also been very sick lately. Everybody's been wondering where I've been. I'm terribly sorry. Shit happens. I went on vacation, and then I got sick. And I was also procrastinating for about a week before I went on vacation. I was like, I'm going to make all these videos, and then I'm going to be ready to upload them while I'm on vacation. And then I got sick while on vacation. I was like laying in bed, watching TV. I was like, I don't want to do anything. Oh my god. So... Now I'm feeling better. I'm I'm feeling better, and also it's like 60 degrees outside, so I'm not freezing, chilling to the bone, cold. Even though I know most people have it a lot worse than I do, I feel terrible for the Northeast and the 18 feet of snow. We don't have that here, but it was still like cold enough for me to feel like procrastinating all day long. So that was no good. So this is fun. This is what I sit through a lot, waiting for players. I wonder if even anybody will be on. It's 7 p.m. And if there's nobody playing this game, I'd be very disappointed. And I'll have to play an online match. Or not an online match, uh, sorry. An AI match, which unlocks cards for me, which is not so bad. But it's tedious. And sometimes some of the decks are a little bit stronger than my current setup because my current setups like covers all bases it's strong in late game and it's got some nice one drops if you know the terminology of magic but I guess you guys don't want to sit here and watch me look at a loading screen for four minutes now I'm gonna do 30 more seconds of this and go that's normally how I play these loading screens because sometimes they're just so ridiculously long and I don't understand it still have trouble uh, with my Xbox One where I've been holding off and making videos and trying to receive the voice of who I'm playing with like I can hear it in my headset and I've got the adapter I just need to try and split it and I need a cord that takes my 3 millimeter 3.5 millimeter plug-in and puts it in my PC so, I just need an extension, I guess, because this one's not that long. Unless I want to hold my controller next to my PC, which is like a foot next to my head. So it's kind of, the blood would drain from my hand. And then, that would not be good. Okay, so we've been waiting five minutes. Fuck this. Uh, the video might not be at five minutes, but we'll see. I could play, hmm. I could do four player with a bunch of AI, which is always kind of fun. Uh, er, why nothing works is so annoying. So I went out of my way and got the, uh, the expansion here. This music's really loud, I'm probably gonna have to turn it down. It shows you a bunch of text and stuff, and uh, you don't play as yourself, you play as Garduk Wild Speaker. And just whatever, you can read that, pause that if you want to. And these are the boss battles you have to defeat. And this is like a free roaming? I don't even really know how to compare this, but it, when you, f like these guys are always the, gonna be the same battle. And so you're facing the same deck no matter what, but you have to play as Garduk. In the Explore Alera, you play against five or six different decks and you can choose to use your own deck. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna pick that. I think it's gonna ask me if I wanna play as my own deck or not or it's just gonna throw me straight into the game so um, you can pause that and read that if you want to there's little tidbits of information before each battle if I remember correctly this is gonna be extremely difficult so might be dragons or something explore the maelstrom oh he's mulliganing 
that's not a good sign for him. So let's see. Hmm. It's not exactly a bad hand because I start out with one swamp and a one drop, which is a two one. But he enters the battlefield tap. He's not exactly super useful except for like turn one, throw him down and run. And we've got spider spawning. Uh, I will keep the hand. And he goes first for some reason. Still don't understand that in this game. I think it's just <clears throat> every now and again uh, I go first and he goes first. So we got two mana now. Plenty to play the Highborn, which is not bad. Every time that card dies, the Highborn card, uh, I can pay a swamp, like tap a swamp, to pay for my opponent losing two life and I gain two life. Well, it's very useful. Especially when you have a card in your deck that allows you to gain life, or it allows your opponent to lose life whenever you gain life. It forces them, basically. I really enjoy that. So in the last few months I've played a lot of magic, let's just say. And you can skip those like animated things. I just skip them just because it turns a 30 second game into or a 30 minute game into 5 minutes. So he's dealing 3 damage to target creature or player. If he kills the highborn right now, I'm fucked. Damn it. So I didn't get to use that card to the fullest of its ability. Oh well. We've got two spider spawnings now. So I don't have enough mana to play these green cards, which would be useful. But I can play this 1-1 one, one thing, or a thing that gives that flying. Hmm. I think I'll play this, because next time around I can play this vampire card that I'm hovering over, and that, because I think it only costs one to equip. It might cost two. And I'm attacking him again for two. At my local card shop, they say, swing in for two. I'm like, okay. So if you played any of the Magic games on the 360, this reminds me a little bit of it, especially this battle sequence, but how I hover over and select cards is a lot better. So now we have three mana on the board. I can play this guy, where I tap four mana, and I can give plus one counters in the amount of how many cards I have on the field, so he's good to have out there quickly. I need more mana though, I need to draw nothing but mana for the next few turns. Maybe some good three drops, I don't know. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he's dropping some tapped lands. And he's got four open mana and nothing to do. So now I've got four mana, that's good, that's exactly what I need. I guess I'll play the vampire. I can actually do a, a lot of little stuff in this turn. Play this guy, who actually allows me to put more mana onto the battlefield if I have it in my hand, but I don't. And I'll pay to equip this guy with flying, because why not? Alright, he's more important to me than this 2-1 uh, guy right here. So, alright, we'll continue because it'll, it'll allow me to change which cards I want to be flying at any time. So I'll attack 4-4. Four, four. Let's see what he does. He might be able to block some stuff. Nope, he can't. I figured with... He's got green, red, and blue open. There's so many possibilities. Now he's got 5 mana. 6 mana. He's, he's gotta be do He's doing something. Oh, shit. A giant elemental creature. It was an 8-8. It's kind of scary. It's not too bad. Oh, as you can see here, when I attacked for 4... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. When I attacked for 4, um, this guy's power and toughness went up. See, when he has 10 or less life, this vampire gets a 2-1. Which is why I really like that 1-drop. And we drew another little 1-drop. I don't care. I'll take it. Alright. Even though now I can't use this dude's ability. Let's see, if I stay where I am, I have enough power to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. It's not enough. So I might as well swing at him for 2 damage right here. Oh no, not all of the... Just one. Yes, there we go. It's a little touchy, this game. If you mess up and you press something and then you confirm it, 
it's like, ah, oh, you're fucked. Especially if you misplayed. You can lose the game for yourself like that. Continue. Thank you. Oh, I should actually switch it to the 3 2. If I switch the flying thing to the 3 2, then I can just swing for more. Oh, now, not exactly, because he has a flying creature. Whenever Derp Derp deals combat damage to a player, you may cast a non land card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Ouch. That's a pretty good card. Hmm. I can now play spider spawning, which is not the right time to play this. I need to kill things. I need things to die. Let's see. I can equip this guy. Yes. I can also use this guy's ability to give this guy a number of 1-1 counters. Yeah, 8-7. So if this guy blocks with this flying creature, he will die. And if he doesn't block with the flying creature, he will also die. Let's just attack with everything and see how this goes. The 8-8 eight, eight has to stop some stuff. Okay. That's not bad. Tapping Y to skip through all these things. They're kind of cool, but after you see him once, it's like, who cares? Okay, so he took four damage. He didn't die. Oh, if he swung for... Why didn't he swing for eight? Oh, whatever. He would definitely die last time. Oh, no. He's going to kill the flying thing. Yep. All right, it's not so bad. So he exiles a card. Wait, what is this? He's just mana ramping now on top of his other card. He didn't really have to play that then, but okay. I guess he just wanted to do it before the end of his turn. Hmm. I could play Gravedigger, which would be a misplay right now, considering how many spider spawnings I have. And I just have three cards? I would use, I would pay basically five mana for three one twos. Huh. Maybe that is kind of a misplay. Let's throw this guy out here and pull this guy back out here. He goes back into my hand. Okay, that's not so bad. I'll give uh, Gravedigger flying. Oh, actually that was a bit of a misplay. Shit. Fuck it, I'll attack with everything. He needs to start killing some of my creatures so I can use them for the spider spawning ability. The more I have in my graveyard, the more effective it will be. He will die next turn if he doesn't pull out a flying creature. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Ha ha ha! Okay. I think Cascade allows him to do some crazy stuff. Wait a minute, let me look at that card. Cascade. When a player casts a spell with Cascade, cards are exiled from the top of his or her library until a non-land card is revealed that cost is less than the spell with Cascade. That player casts the exiled card without paying its mana cost. Ah! So he played a card that basically just gave him three one ones with anything? Nothing? Nothing. Alright, it's just a token. And he's summoning sick. Summoning sick means you just can't, uh... What am I trying to say? You can't use its abilities and you can't attack when it comes out. So you have to be kind of wary of what you're doing. He sent the wings back to my hand too? Douchebag. Hmm. I'll throw this guy out here. And the wings, might as well. I don't know if you guys heard that, there's kids playing in the neighborhood. Damn kids, stay off my lawn. I'm going to attack with one of these. I'm going to let him kill that. That gives me more spiders. There we go. And gets rid of one of his tokens. If he swings in for all three tokens, I might lose a life. I can only block two. I don't know why he would. 
Oh, the same creature. It's you know, he's got two eight eights on the field. That's just a little scary. But he is at two health, so he just fucks up once and he's dead. Oh, good play. Well, I think I'm gonna block the one. Because that gives me more leeway if I can throw a bunch of spiders onto the field. Which I think I'm gonna do that this turn. Hey, look, mana! Sweet. So I'm gonna play that. Gives me seven? Seven spiders. And I can give one of them flying. Fuck it! I'll give that guy flying. And it becomes his turn. And search your library for oh, more ramping. That's interesting. Does he deal damage too? Oh fuck, he dealt a lot of damage to me. Ooh. The, ga the game has gotten very close all of a sudden. He's not going to attack. It's very smart. He will still die. Hmm. I think I'm going to remove spider spawning. Put that back in my hand. I can't play it this turn, but I can play the elf thing. And then give the elf flying, because that's more important to me than the spiders, which I can get a whole bunch of really quickly. Okay. I'm going to attack with all but three spiders. So he'll, no matter what he does, he's going to lose, yeah, he'll lose the 1-1 one, one creature and he will also lose one life. If he plays another one of those cards though, I will definitely die. I should have attacked with more. Fuck. Oh well. Oh, he threw another 1-1 one, one thing on the board? Whoa, that was 4 mana. Was that? For each basic land type. Okay, Ooh, he now has all the land types. Alright. If I play spider spawning one more time, I'll have just enough spiders to kill one of his 8 8 8s. Hmm. It's not a bad card to have out there, but I have nothing that gives me life, so it's kind of useless right now. Play another spider spawning. Actually, he will die this turn because he has nothing with flying. I will attack him with my one flying thing. Way overdue, but oh well. Hey, it worked. Senior Whoopi wins, yay! And I've played this so many times that I don't exactly get a booster pack. So that's kind of lame. It won't even show me the awards that I've got while I'm in this uh, expansion pack. But yes, that was the expansion pack. If you're interested in checking that out, it was like 15 bucks. So I was a little disappointed. Might have been less. Uh, I've already forgotten. But I was still disappointed. Oh yeah, it was it was five bucks. It wasn't that bad. But I was still a little disappointed just because uh, it still takes forever to unlock all the cards and even though I've beat everything I don't think I've got all the cards I can look at my card collection real quick see if you guys are interested in that I'm going to upload this video in 1080p so I'll move through it kind of slow but if you're interested like full screen the video and pause it and just by like kind of checking out some of it you can sort by size I think yeah, that, that's really hard for me to even read. So, I'm still missing the cards that are grayed out, I'm missing. So, let's see. Find card. It's from a battle booster. Ah, oh, great. A lot of these cards I can unlock by doing the battle boosters. The rares and the ultra rares, the mythic rares, are just like strewn about. There's a rare, there's a mythic rare. I have one of those time warp cards really fucking overpowered. And the black cards, some of my favorite cards. I love these two creatures. 
and this guy a 7-7 seven, seven with lifelink. And you can also pay 7 life to draw 7 cards, which is extremely useful. All the crazy stuff here. And those are all the cards. I have 87% of the total cards. So that's kind of cool. So many cards. But yes, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. This has gone well. First video that I've made in a few weeks. Feels good. I'm gonna crack a celebratory drink. Everybody at home, take a swig. Yeah. Mm. That was a Coke. That wasn't exactly a beer. But yes, I'm still going to enjoy the rest of my day. I'm going to go ahead and maybe edit some more unboxing videos that I have in the Pipeworks and put those on the IRL channel before people forget about both channels. But yes, I will end this video here. And don't worry, Aragon, if you're watching, there will be more Singularity videos coming later today. But uh, yeah, guys, go out there, have a wonderful day, and check out this uh, magic game. I'd love to have more people to play with, even though this game still needs a lot of work. Developers, if you're watching, please buy another server for this game. Just one more server. It takes so long to connect to my friends online. And uh, yeah, it makes me not want to play this game, but it's still fun. I still enjoy it when I do get to connect. Fucking game. But yes, I will now go ahead and end this video here. Again, my name is Senior Whoopi. You've been watching the Senior Whoopi Gaming Channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. And go out there and try out this game. Ta-ra.